carpet radio cavalcade starring all the citizens of Hollywood. Look for them to entertain you on the streets of Sunset and Hollywood Boulevard all day long. It's another beautiful day here in Central Town, folks. So enjoy your stay in our hometown, Hollywood. I'm a gonna be. I'm film director Oscar Mayer. 
Empire Wiener. My films are like sausages, folks. They're full of parts nobody wants. <laughs> Good morning, voters. I am Sonny Burbank, the mayor of Hollywood, and I'm actually considering a presidential run because I believe I could be useless on a national level. Oh, and that's us, the citizens of Hollywood. And now, for those of you listening at home on KPUT Radio, gather closer to your radio sets. Here's something for your ears with the sirens of the song, the ladies of the lyric, the Hollywood. He was a famous struggling man from out Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man of his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, a blowing revelry. He's a boogie boogie bugle boy of company B. They made him blow a bugle for his uncle Sam. He really brought him down because he couldn't jam. The captain seemed to understand. Because the next day the cat went out and drafted the band. And now the company comes when he puts revelry. He's the boogie boogie bugle Company B, a root, a toot, a tootly out, a tootly bows and eight to the bar. And boogie rhythm, you can't blow a note unless a basic guitar playing with him. And the company jumps when he plays reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. He puts the boys to sleep with boogie every night. And wakes them up the same way in the early light. They clap their hands and stamp their feet. Because they know what we play, when someone gives them a beat, it really breaks it up when he plays reveille. He's the boogie woogie Representing all that is Christmas. Thank you. You're very 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 Ladies and gentlemen, look at this adorable child. She is uh, she is wearing the most adorable in headpieces today. Um, this actually this bow makes her head look smaller. No. No, it, it, it's for size. I'm going to put one right up here. Right there. No. Ladies and gentlemen, right over here, I give kudos to this young girl. Give her a big round of applause. Yay. She's a good listener, we can all tell. She's got lots of ears. She sure does. And she just broke out of a fashionable prison. Okay, sure. Thank There's you. so many things to celebrate right here in this crowd. I am celebrating everyone wearing these pins right now. This is oh, birthday. People are celebrating birthdays. If you're having a birthday this year, raise your hand. Yes. Thank you. It's your birthday. Thank you, everybody. Why don't we narrow that down? Well, okay. Yeah, let's celebrate October. November, 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 November birthdays. November. It's November. Should you ask? Yes, Gavin. I love you. you know we have a big surprise for all of us. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. What's the matter? Please, please, please. Wow. Please, please, please. please. Quiet. All right. Everyone, stop talking right stop now. Stop it. This is important. Look at these people. Oh, yeah. They were born. They were. Okay. And we are celebrating them right now. Because they only do it once a year. For goodness sakes, please. Take a breath. All right, we're going to sing a song for them right now. We're singing a song for them. Do you give me that look? Here we go. Let's sing a song. Can we get a note, please? Yeah, I got a note. Just because it's between two pieces of bread doesn't mean it's a sandwich. No, that's a good note. So don't too. put your mouth on it. You don't know where it's been. Oh, thank you, sir. I have information. I want to hear more children. from Oscar. I'm in a musical note. Oh, 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 this is. <laughs> Get out of here! Go! It's over! <laughs>
This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Who's going to win? Hollywood Quiz Bowl. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the Hollywood Quiz Bowl, and I am your host today for the Quiz Bowl. My name is Jack Diamond, local Hollywood talent agent. It is my honor to introduce you your first competitor. She is all the way from Wales. She is seven years old. She has three degrees. Please welcome my lovely friend, Alau, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely Welsh game. Come right on over here with right me and Al. Stand right next to the beautiful Eden Starlight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next competitor, he's a big time star here in Hollywood. The women want him and the men just want to be him. Please welcome Mr. Stone Granny! Yes! Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome, Mr. Granny. It's a pleasure to have you back as your fifth year as our reigning champion. Yes, it's an honor to be back. Now these two people are going to be competing for a grand prize. Let's try that again. They're going to be competing for a grand prize. It's earth shattering. And the winner of the uh, three questions, the first person who gets two of them right will be our winner for today's competition. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So let's begin with our first question. The topic today for our question will be movie trivia. Oh. Trivia, yes, Mr. Granny. You said movie trivia. I did, I said movie trivia. It doesn't seem very fair. Well, why is that? I'm a movie star. I know that. Yes, I'm a movie star. I've seen a lot of movies. I've been in a lot of movies. Yes. Allow, how old are you? Seven years old. I've got a good ten years on Allow. It doesn't seem fair. No, no. why is it a It doesn't seem fair. Okay, here we go. Our first question, ladies and gentlemen. In the movie. Yes. The Wizard of Oz. Yes. What color? Oh, I know all the answers. Questions are telling you right now. Don't bet it's ringing the bell. Ruby red. My final answer is ruby red. The slippers were ruby red. That sounds correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, you did not allow me to finish the question. Therefore, the answer is wrong because I had not finished the question. So just you didn't finish the question. Yeah, if you would just listen to the question. He, he wasn't asking about slippers. I guess. Apologize. Here we go. I was listening to the question. First question in the movie. Yes. The Wizard of Oz. Heard that really what like color? Yes, I got it. Amanda, I hope you're happy. I listened to the question. Ringing the bell. Emerald green. The emerald green city is emerald green. That's what I said. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That is correct, Mr. Bennett. The Emerald City is green, but unfortunately, that was not the question. Because let's get you didn't allow me to finish. Therefore, you are now disqualified from this round. I was distracted by Amanda. Allow this question is for you and only you. In the movie, The Wizard of Oz, what color is the yellow brick road? Oh, the yellow brick road. I don't know Yellow. Question number two. Question number two. In the movie Fantasia. Oh, yeah, that's a great movie. What is the sorcerer's name? Oh, I didn't know it. Oh, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. I'm ringing the bell. The sorcerer's name in the film Fantasia is Yensid, which is Disney spelled backwards. Thank you very much. Give me a point. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tied one to one. One, one to one. one. one, to one. Um, you know what? We should tell everybody what the grand prize is. That's a great idea. Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the grand prize is a new car keychain. That's right, listeners. This beautiful heirloom keychain was handmade by children living overseas and is suitable for framing stop if you it. have a frame. Stop, 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 stop. What's the matter? That's the prize. Yeah, Is that the prize we've been talking about all year long? It's all in the Are you kidding me? What? This is a Hollywood quiz bowl. Yeah. I would be disappointed to get that for trick or treat. What are you talking about? No! We gotta do better. We do? Yes. Yeah. What do we have to do? Two we gotta put the sirloins on the high shelf, Jack. Yeah, no. Raise the stakes. 
I got a grand prize. What do you got? How about this? How about, how about this? You listening? Okay, good. How about a dream fast pass? A dream fast pass? Oh, oh, All right, we've come to the last question. Last question. You guys are playing for a dream fast pass. That's right. Say we're playing with both of you the best of luck. Thank you very much, Mr. Jack Diamond. Our final question. Final question. In the movie Frozen, what were both Anna and Elsa? That's a trick question, Mr. Diamond. At the beginning of the film, Frozen, Anna and Elsa are both princesses. But then about 20 minutes in, Elsa becomes a queen, and Anna is still a princess. My final answer is princess and queen. Clap, Amanda. Thank you very much. I'm terribly sorry. Amanda, I'm terribly I'm sorry, Mr. Bennett. Yeah. Yeah. That's completely incorrect. Oh. Oh. Princess and Queen is my final answer. Don't you burn it? Let it go. <laughs> now this question is for you and only you. In the movie Fantasia, what were both yeah. Anna and Elsa? What I say? I'm sorry, frozen. Sorry, they're moving frozen. What? Sister, <laughs> 